I get asked this question a lot. Why don't I do streams on this channel? Well, back in 2019, I did a stream covering Sasuke versus Hiei. This was one of the last streams I ever made, if not the last one, because in the middle of this stream, because I showed a little bit of footage from Death Battle of Sasuke versus Hiei, it got copyrighted and I got my streaming privileges taken away for about a year. Even though Death Battle emailed me and told me that it was okay for it to be up and they apologized, they didn't mean to go ahead and copy copyrighted I still couldn't stream for about a year and after that I just didn't have the same excitement as I did before in streaming so when it comes to the review for today's death battle Goku Black versus Reverse Flash I will be using screenshots from the actual fight and the episode which is all fair use because edited by me with my audio with my own music with my own backgrounds just giving you guys a little history lesson Prepare yourself, Dan Saiyan. What is up guys, Blackscape here, and today I'm going to make this a quick one because honestly this fight should have been a lot quicker than it was, and that is today's death battle, Goku Black vs. Reverse Flash. This death battle was extremely disappointing to see because of the fact that there were so many instances in this death battle where Goku Black had Reverse Flash dead to rights and he didn't pull the trigger because they did not want him to pull the trigger. That's the thing about death battle. They write these scenarios in a way to maybe put people on an equal footing and then they end up having the character they want to win they have them win. That's essentially what happens in almost every death battle and it is, in my opinion, not very accurate because if it was very accurate, these two characters honestly may be in a very similar wavelength when it comes to attacks and speed, but when it comes to durability and defense, they're not even close and that is where you get your huge issue with Reverse Flash versus Goku Black. Now I knew from the get-go that they were going to give Reverse Flash the win because his explanation to the background of this character that was twice as long as the Goku Black portion of it. The Goku Black portion was just a rehashing of the Goku Black arc with not really any feats compared to anything else in Dragon Ball. No deep diving into any of his abilities or anything like that. While Reverse Flash got a good portion of this entire death battle dedicated to how fast he can move, how strong he actually is, what his attacks are. That's how you can tell who's going to win the death battle. The one that gets more of an explanation as to how their attacks work and that that way death battle can seem like they were on the up and up at the end when they do choose this character to win because they can go back and be like look this entire portion we explained it we explained how this character wins against the other character now if goku black and reverse flash were on an equal power level footing where both characters were equalized in, in their defense their attack their vulnerabilities um their body durability and then it would still be at least 50 50 that goku black would win because even if every punch that Goku Black hit Reverse Flash with didn't obliterate him right then and there. There is one moment in this death battle where Goku Black had him dead to rights and they made him give a little speech letting Reverse Flash go and that is this moment right here. Now in both instances whether Reverse Flash and Goku Black are equalized or they're not, this moment right here Goku Black would have killed Reverse Flash without Reverse Flash being able to come back in time and undo this mess because of the fact that Goku Black does not go on tangents where he doesn't eliminate the enemy. Goku Black and everything that we've seen him with, he absolutely decimates the enemy on sight. He attacks them without warning. He doesn't give them any moment to rest. That is one of the best qualities about this character and that is shown when he stabs Vegeta through the chest. He is not here to play around or play any games. He is here to take care of business. So right then and there, he would have killed Reverse Flash whether they were equalized or not. Now if this moment hadn't happened and he had never grabbed Reverse Flash by the neck then yeah I could see how this plays out if they're both equalized. If Reverse Flash is able to take the punches that Goku Black delivers then yeah taking away the ring and having Reverse Flash use his attacks to completely decimate Goku Black I can see how that is possible but that is again they'd have to be equalized in their power levels. If Goku Black doesn't kill Reverse Flash here without equalization if we're going off how powerful these characters are and how durable they are well every single punch that Goku Black delivered on Reverse Flash would have been a death blow. Reverse Flash is extremely strong, superhuman strength
strength and capabilities and abilities, even healing ability, but his durability is still a human, maybe a more powerful human, maybe a stronger human, it is still human. Goku Black is a Saiyan. Not only is he a Saiyan, but he's got inside of him deity. So he is on a completely different level. It's a god versus a guy. And a god would be able to completely rip off this insect's wings and prevent him from even running. Goku Black would have killed him by taking out his legs from under him. This is not even close to being a fair fight because Reverse Flash has way too many vulnerabilities that Goku Black can take advantage of. If you ask me, they do this a lot with Dragon Ball characters because they want to make videos of Dragon Ball characters because they know those videos get some of the highest views that the channel gets on the death battles. And at the same time, these Dragon Ball characters, they far outperform any other character you can verse them against besides characters in their own universe. It's really hard to find versus battles with Dragon Ball characters against normal characters where they're almost on the same footing. They're on the same wavelength. It rarely, if not ever, happens. This is not something that happens all the time. So they do this on purpose for the views, for the attention, and then they give the Dragon Ball character the L. They might as well just say at the beginning of the death battle that this shit is equalized and they are on the same durability and strength and everything. That way it makes it far more believable because, again, Goku Black had this from the very beginning. No matter how fast Reverse Flash is, he is not that tough. Physically, he is not that tough. He cannot handle the punches that Goku Black would be delivering on a regular basis, specifically through this animation. And when Goku Black had Reverse Flash dead to rights, holding him by the neck, Reverse Flash would not have been able to get out of there in time before Goku Black stabbed him and actually killed him. I mean, if Batman in a different timeline can do this to Reverse Flash, then Goku Black can absolutely get the drop on him while he has him by the throat. Now, if you think I'm wrong or you're a DC fan, let me know why you think Reverse Flash would win against Goku Black in this fashion, but again, I really don't think that this is the case, but let me know in the comment section below this is going to be Blackscape signing off. Take care guys. Subscribe for more content.